Welcome back to your girl's favorite podcast. We are here with Ash and Lexa. They've been together for a year and are currently engaged. They're also quite the unconventional couple, as one is a retired professional dominatrix and the other is an ex-Mormon. Tune in to learn more about BDSM. So anticlimactic. Yeah, one is an ex-Mormon. Well, it's very exciting to the gay community. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. That's true. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to start off with our game of this or that. Alyssa, do you want to Yeah, I'll, jump I'll on do in? the honors. You guys ready? <laughs> ready. Let's just yes. see what happens. You um, guys can answer oh. as one as entity. One. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, morning sex or night sex? Night, night sex. sex. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Giving or receiving? Giving. Receiving. <laughs> Ooh, perfect. <laughs> Compatible. That was a good one. <laughs> Romantic yeah. gestures or love letters? Romantic gestures. Oh, love letters? Mm -hmm. Like, oh, oh. Wait, is it, is, it, is, it, is it giving or receiving them? Because I think that's different. Mm, I don't know. As a giver, I'd rather give romantic gestures. I guess it falls into like words of affirmation or like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Both. Above, right? love letters. I know your answer. <laughs> yeah. Love letters. Yeah. Uh, cheek kisses or forehead kisses? Cheek. cheek. Yeah. You guys can stay back too. It catches oh you. Yeah, you it catches you when you're back too. Uh, you don't have to lean forward. Um, okay. Okay. <laughs> like so much pressure. Yeah. All right, chill. Okay, here's a fun one. Nipple clamps or choking? Choking. Choking. Mm -hmm. uh, using ice cubes or candle wax? Ice cubes. Candle wax. Mm. Mm. Okay. Um, have you ever used either? I have, yes. yeah. Oh, I meant together, yeah. but... Um, oh, no. no, we've never done candle like, yeah. ice cream. <laughs> what the fuck you mean? Like, no, we haven't yet. No. Mm -hmm. Talked about it. We're going to have to after this. Tonight. Yeah. Yeah. After this, yeah. <laughs> okay, big spoon or little spoon? Big spoon. Little spoon? Okay. Nice. Role play or foreplay? Foreplay. Four yeah. Nice. And a night in together or a night out? Night in. Night in. Night in is the usual, but a night out I need every now and then. Yeah. 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 No. Nice. Sounds like yeah. you're very compatible. Yeah. Good. <laughs> I hope so. I say, okay, co-star. Yeah. No <laughs> Just checking, you know. No it works so well. You guys yeah. are super oh. compatible. That's relieving. Um, <laughs> she said, <laughs> we're leaving. Cool. Good job, buddy. He wasn't that bad. Um, yeah. So, yeah. I just Extra burden. I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, let's jump in to you guys, your relationship. How did you guys meet? Wow, Give okay. So, TikTok. <laughs> I was on TikTok. Because I make content on TikTok. So my whole life is just being on TikTok and seeing what people are posting. And in that moment of my life, I was obsessed with Taylor Swift. So I was oh. on like Taylor Swift FYP. And she just happened to make a TikTok using one of her songs. Mm -hmm. And I saw her and I found her so beautiful. And I was like, wow. Aww. I wasn't even looking or nothing. But I just had to comment. And I commented. You commented <clears throat> on her video? On her yes. video, yeah. And it had a lot of comments. I didn't expect said, her to even, like, look at it. Or She said, you are rose emoji. <laughs> Aww. Which is, like, the randomest thing to say. I've never heard someone say that. And I was like, oh, yeah. But it caught so, you. I did, man. Yeah, so then I looked. It kind of caught my attention more than just, like, you're so pretty. And you know? I was, like, yeah. a little different. So I clicked it. And then I remember seeing her. And my first thought was, like, wow, she's exactly my type. Whoa. So, yeah, like, yeah. yeah, She was my type, too. I like blondes. She was yeah. blonde. I like girls that work out. She had a gym outfit on yeah and you were you both already out when you were oh, trying no, way to, out. yeah you're okay, way yeah. out yeah. okay way out. yes kicked yeah. out <laughs> oh right. yeah, yeah kicked out of the closet yeah yeah you've yeah. been out for a while yeah. Mm -hmm. so yeah, yeah she's my second um like female relationship and then okay. you're like who even knows? i don't even know <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. um so you guys being together for a year i know that you're engaged uh lexa you proposed right what was what was that whole situation like you know what? It was very stressful mm -hmm. because I know how much she cares about details. She is really detail oriented. Are you a Virgo? I'm she a Virgo. Is. You're I'm a Virgo. Virgo. Yeah. I'm a Capricorn. Oh, yeah. Oh. She's a Capricorn. <laughs> yeah, so I was, yeah. I was sweating. Yeah. I was sweating when she told me. First, she knew exactly what she wanted. And then last minute, she was like, you know what? I don't know what I want anymore. Oh, for my, do you mean for my um, ring? Yeah. because Okay, she's talking about ring. To propose, I yeah. needed to get oh, the so ring. Oh, so you already expected this. You knew yeah. it was coming. Yeah, I knew we talked. I mean, we got engaged like less than a year into officially dating, let's be honest. So I feel like you had to have a conversation about yeah. that. You know, yeah. like we were both on the same mm -hmm. crazy lesbian train here. Yeah. So <laughs> we both knew and I'm very particular. So I'm not about to just let her go buy a random ring. Oh, right. no way. Are you no joking? Way. I'm wearing this forever. So... <laughs> 
So I <laughs> hold, hold up the ring. Oh yeah, let's see. Can you see it? Yeah. Oh, wow. Damn. <laughs> Can you see it? Yeah. Well, I I'm, I'm, I'm like showing oh the. Um, just show camera. everyone. Where's the camera? Yeah. Right, right there. there on both sides. Oh yeah. hi. Cool. Yeah. So I, I just like a very particular thing. I wanted something big, <laughs> and I wanted something like kind of. A Victorian era Art Deco combined. I and so that. I made a Pinterest board of a bunch of random rings that I was like, I don't want like any of these exactly, but like something mixed. And I yeah. was like, honestly, I love when you've like thought about something and mm -hmm. you've really like worked on something for me. Like I do like grand gestures and mm -hmm. anything romantic. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I'm like, it's gonna, and I love surprises. So I'm like, it's gonna be, it's obviously not too much of a surprise that you're gonna propose, but I want the ring to be a surprise. Like yeah. I want you to design it. But here's just anywhere in this like ballpark. Oh, so it's custom? Yeah, yeah. no yeah. biggie. Uh -huh. She's like, you, you make a ring. I have I no, no I've never made a ring in my life. For so long. <laughs> this is not what I do for a living. Looks but also like, okay. I want you to des design it. But here's this. Here's this what and it that. needs what to it be. Yeah. Like. Yeah. Well, I said I was like. If you don't feel comfortable with that, you don't have to. But just know that I would really appreciate it if you did. Like, it would be really special if you did. Back back really like, I totally get it. I get it. She's like. I know how much you love surprises, like, of course. Like, so I was yeah. like, okay. So did you know the day of the, like, it was happening, the day of? I knew that it was happening that week because she knew that okay. I wanted my nails done beforehand. Yeah, and she's so, picky. I mean, I, yeah, I yeah. had to make no, sure she got her nails done. Me, so I knew it was coming in the next couple of days. And she kind of threw me off a few different directions. Mm -hmm. So I knew it was either, like, <laughs> this day or the next day. I think there was, like, three different days that I thought it could be. So I was just a little suspicious, like, that whole week, yeah. basically. <laughs> yeah. It was also very hard because we were in the middle of moving. And I wanted her mom to be there, her dad to mm -hmm. be there, and all her, like, close friends. So I had a week to propose. Wow. Oh, I got shit. the ring, and I was like, okay, now I got to do it. So I knew it was happening. You know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah. the surprise was more the ring. I was just so excited mm -hmm. to see the ring. And, and she kept on, like, throwing me off, saying these little things where she'd be like, what did you want again? And, like, she'd be like, oh, I thought you liked this. Or whatever. She'd, like, say these little things yeah. that would, like, stress me out. And I'm like, yeah. 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 like you know funny. that I want a big ring. <laughs> you know that I want this. Like, my shit. You say these little things where I'm like, Babe, you know. Yeah. You know. I like, made it very clear. Yeah. She was being smart. She was confusing you. She yeah. really cared. And then she, um, Ash would start having nightmares. She's like, I had this nightmare that the ring was, the band was too thick. Oh. And then I'm like going to the jeweler. I'm like, is, is the band too thick? <laughs> She's like, she had a nightmare. Yeah, is it too thick? thick? I think I had two nightmares. Oh I thought you give me the ring and it being like hideous, and I was just like, oh, the no. pressure. You were probably over yeah. here like, oh my the god, fear was taking over my honest, little Capricorn. Yeah. yeah, but honestly, once I saw it, I was like, <laughs> I like, just knew it was it. it. I'm like, that's, that's the one. Cute. She's gonna love it. It was. I was head over heels about it. So how did you do it? Where were you guys? <sighs> oh, the actual en like engagement. So I don't know. Arizona's not that pretty. I mean, there's no ocean <laughs> there. There's no real greenery unless you're driving like two hours out. But if I did that, she would know, like, why are we driving two hours out? Yeah. Or even just going out to the desert. It's just, it's, it's so like obvious. we just go out to the desert, yeah. you know? So. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, we, so we did it all backwards. We first talked about getting married, and then we're like, oh, well, we need to talk about getting engaged. Mm -hmm. So we started looking at wedding places, like oh, venues. Um, and there was a really beautiful one that was very green. It was called um, The Right House. Yeah, it's funny because, like, I knew so many people that got married there. It was, like... The only cute place to get married yeah. in my area. So I was kind of against it because I was like, everyone and their dog has gotten married here. But it also, we were at the time, <laughs> we were like a tea, like a tea party vibe. And it was definitely the vibe. It was like Rose Garden. And it's like, yeah. well, this would be really pretty. And it's owned by more like a Mormon family. And I'm like, oh, yeah. I kind of like the fact that it'd be like a lesbian couple getting married there. Yeah. And they were like very open to us Aww. and stuff. Yeah, very, yeah. very sweet. Yeah. So what I did then, I was like, okay, well, this is the only nice green place in Arizona so I called them. I was like, hey, look, I'm a content creator. I, I want to film a, film me in this um, in your location proposing. Um, I have these many followers. I'm going to have a drone. I'm going to have blah, 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 blah. Will you let me use your, your place? And he was like, yeah. Wow. Oh, perfect. Yeah. yeah, and they were so booked, so I only had two two options. So oh, I had to do, like, okay. Monday or a Tuesday, yeah. and Damn. we made That's it work. Right. Yeah. <laughs> really yeah. put down to a short time. Yeah, I was like super stressed out. I'm literally <laughs> taking, I'm like taking notes right now. Mentally, yeah. like, do you yeah. have a ring? Or no, no, she's, she's okay. Yeah. Cool. See, What's going on? Some of us are, some of us are full time flight students, um, <laughs> and some of us are working on yeah. Um, 
getting the you money get for it. a ring. Get yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Details. Yeah. We, yeah. Details. Because, yeah. sure. and I, I appreciate this about her, is, like, we have our joint income we make from our YouTube and stuff, but that's all being invested back into the business sure. and into Absolutely. savings. Yeah. And then I have my own income that I make. And I have a bunch of money in the pipelines. It's just with content creation. You know, it takes, yeah. like... And you yeah. want to yeah. do it, right? You don't want to just go yeah. halfway. Yeah. And I, yeah. I appreciate it because she's the type of person that doesn't, like, she's like, hell no, you're not going to get in debt for my ring. You're not yeah. gonna, Like, that's yeah. so dumb. Like... She values finances. She's almost like, it feels stupid for you to spend the money on a ring. Like, we should be putting that, you should yeah. put that towards your flight school loans, uh-huh. you know? So, like, she's been very patient with it. Yeah, so the we, flight school is so cool, by the way. Yeah, we have thank to talk you. About yeah. I'm literally going to cry. Yeah. That's I so think, cute. Yeah. <laughs> it's also, you know, with that, you guys know you're going to be together. It's not like mm-hmm. a yeah. rush on that. And yeah. also, maybe that's, I mean, assuming that's not something as important to you right now. Like, you know you're engaged. You know mm-hmm. that's the next step. You can get a ring when the time yeah. is. Yeah, to me, it's really not that big of a deal. Yeah. yeah. Have the ring. I, a ring pop will do, you know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah for sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm more worried about so her, her, yeah. her debt, you know, and yeah. all that. That, yeah. that I'm worried My about. My debt is your debt, baby. Yeah. Yeah. She's, yeah. Exactly. She's, She's like, like worried. the credit is where it's hot. That's, that's really really that's like, well, the second we get married. Yeah, like, that's, that's my debt. So that's my, my debt. debt. <laughs> <laughs> That's Y'all amazing. playing a smart also, and I love my it. flight benefits are going to be your flight benefits. Oh, yeah. My pilot income Thanks. is going to be your pilot income, baby. Yeah. Um, nice. I want to talk about that a little bit. For <laughs> one, uh, so our audience knows Ash is in the process of being a pilot, which is yeah. just so awesome. I feel like so you really don't see a lot of female pilots, I didn't which know. is was possible. crazy. Yeah. Um, but what's what's that like? I mean, yeah, I mean, what's your day to day with that too? Yeah. So I mean, going off of that first of all, like. Women only make up, I want to say, four to six percent of pilots wow. worldwide. See, it's rare. In general, God. in the U.S., there's higher yeah. percentages. I think twelve percent of airline pilots are women, but twelve percent, like what the? Yeah, still what? nothing. So yeah, for me, I never even went on an airplane until college. Like back in the day, we didn't have money like that. We have a lot of kids in my family. Like we didn't go fly, and I just never even heard or thought of women doing that. I also heights used to be my worst fear, so like it just never yeah. was something that even occurred to me when I was younger. Um, but then. I had a friend who was a pilot, and he actually was telling my ex-husband about how great it is and how great it is to be a pilot and, like, just all the all the amazing things about it, the lifestyle, we'll the travel. We'll get into the ex-husband. Yeah, yeah, we'll get there, too. <laughs> the lifestyle, the, the, um, Dive right the money, the travel, like, all that stuff and just how great of a career it was. Yeah. And a few years later, I owned a business at the time that I ended up selling, but I was just like, okay, I want to find something to do with my life, like, what do I want to do? And I'm like, I'm not going to be sitting behind a desk for the rest of my life. It's just not, I can't do it. But I also yeah. do kind of want the benefits and good money and all that. And I want to be able to travel the world. I love traveling. And then that came to my mind, and I remembered everything he'd said. And so I just started researching into it more, and I was like, you know what? I love a thrill. I love, like, I love challenging myself. I feel like this is something I'd really love. And honestly, like, I just would love the lifestyle of being in a different place all the time. And I mean, as an airline pilot, you're gone half the month, but you're there half the month. Like the other half the month, you are home, you're very present, you know? So to me, like, I kind of like that lifestyle. I feel like it, I also thought, I'm like, in my future relationships, I think that will kind of keep the, like, romance alive. Totally. You have time mm-hmm. to miss each other, time yeah. to just, like, send each other yeah. sexy texts. Like, kind I'm of on my vibe, way from you know? yeah. Scotland, be waiting in the house. Yeah, with exactly. <laughs> and then, and yeah. then we get home, and I could just, like, book her flights. We yeah. could, like, bring her on first class places. Like, hell yeah. Yeah, I wanna, come meet me here. That's yeah, so cute. Like, I want to raise my kids seeing the world, yeah. like, from a young age. So, like, it just, I don't know, something just clicked. I was, I actually, like, went on a queer trip to Bali that I hosted, and in the airport, this is the weirdest thing. In the airport, I saw these pilots, and I was just like, hey, like, me too. I just had this feeling like, yeah, yeah. Like, same. And then I was like, oh, you're you literally not it. a pilot. Like, what do you mean? This it's would make very, a great what is it, like, TV a show, like, lesbians in flight school. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. Like, yeah. So yeah. I'm, like, getting so many visuals. I'm over here like, I want to be a pilot, too. Wait, so <laughs> are you then planning on doing, like, commercial? Yeah, uh-huh. So most likely airlines also open to private jets. We'll kind of see yeah. where yeah. it goes. Yeah. Are you so. guys going to wow. join the Mile High Club? Yeah. Probably. That's definitely on Not my list. in the airlines. I don't want to lose my job. Okay, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, don't say like, this on public. <laughs> yeah. On a private yeah. plane. On, on a private plane, plane 100% yeah. down. Yeah. 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 Back. There's an airline in Vegas. I don't know if you know. That's for the Mile High Club. They're Shut like up. smaller um, planes like turboprops you can go up and they have it all set up in the back for you and you can just wait that's kind of that's too easy though like I want to earn it I just don't want to earn it at the like cost of my job (laughs) well you don't have to be flying the plane yeah just on your vacation (laughs) yeah put it on autopilot okay I'm just not going to say anything publicly (laughs) about that okay um all right we're gonna switch things up get a little little crazier here Mm -hmm. um (laughs) Lexa I want to talk about you being a retired professional dominatrix, mm-hmm. 
I think that is such an incredible, crazy thing. I know so little about it. Mm -hmm. um, so what's that world like? BDSM, Dom, all of it. How did you such even... a power couple. Yeah. yeah. How did it's you get into the pilot it? Pilot and the dominatrix. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the pilot, the it's world. like a book, the pilot and the dominatrix. Yeah. Gosh, okay, so how I got into the, the career was through a friend of mine. She had been exposed to that whole scene in a more lifestyle sense. So she heard that woman do this for a living. And she went to go, she went to downtown LA to get trained by this master. And a master is basically like a male dominatrix. It's always in downtown oh, LA. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> everything happens in BCIS. Yeah. yeah, and I didn't know anything about this. Back then, I was a, a trainer at the gym, I was just minding my own business. And doing squats. <laughs> yeah, doing squats, <laughs> training people, like bossing them around oh, the perfect. gym. Yeah, yeah. You're watching them suffer. You know, same yeah. thing like a dominatrix, yeah, basically. Sure. Mm -hmm. And I get a call from my friend, and she's like, Lexa, you have to come to downtown LA. I was like, why? And she's like, you have to be a dominatrix. And I'm like, Whoa. why? Like, what's a dominatrix? And she's like, don't worry about it. Just come. Just trust me. Like, you're going to be so good at this. I just can't. Okay. Like, I know that you're perfect for this. Some people just got it, and she yeah. got it. Let's yeah, and that. I was like, okay, sure. Because at that point in my life, I was done being a trainer. I was really lost. Yeah. And then I got really into fitness, got my mind right, and then I felt like I was ready to end that part of my life. And I get this call from my friend who said I should be a dominatrix. And I was like, don't know what it is, but sure. Sounds like an income, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, an oh income increase it was, yeah. as well. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I didn't do it for the money. Back then, I didn't care about money. Yeah. And I just, it was what came at me next in life. And I just took it, not knowing what it was. So I go to downtown LA and I learn what a dominatrix is. And I wasn't, disgusted I wasn't appalled I wasn't even shocked I was like wow like this is this is cool I'll do it you know so, could you almost explain that yeah for our <laughs> listener like what is a dominatrix to your to your okay, understanding so of what you did how right? I would define a dominatrix is a a woman who dominates normally men okay mm -hmm. um mentally and um in person like yeah spanking yeah. like anything like that but it's also, for me, it's very much more mental than it is yeah. mm -hmm. the other way around. Um, in a, and this is a highlight word, consensual way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot of people feel, or I feel that people think it's um, forced or it's, um, yeah, forced and it's not like that. It's yeah. always talked about before actually done yeah. in mm -hmm. a safe setting. Yeah, uh, you guys call the sessions <clears throat> scenes, right? Yeah, we call them scenes. Oh. Yeah. Uh, or a session. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so that's basically what I did. I psychologically dominated men I love that. for a living. Mm -hmm. yeah. I love that. I know. You know, I actually, the one time in my life that I was involved in a BDSM party evening was when Alyssa and I first met. And I'm, Alyssa, oh, I was, I'm keeping quiet, but I'm super into the BDSM world as <laughs> well. Alyssa, so. yeah. Alyssa took me to a BDSM party, and next thing you know, about 30 minutes in, I can't find Alyssa, and I'm walking through the party, <laughs> oh, and I see room. Alyssa up on stage yeah, there you go. spanking the people up there. <laughs> I fucking knew it. That sounds on brand. It's so no, on brand. I was tied up and getting spanked. And then one of the times yeah, she, yeah. she handed me the whip and was like, do oh, I was it. Like, comes, come spank yeah. me. I Wait, I want to go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so like, do you want to be best friends? Yeah, I'm like, and now that makes sense, right? Yeah, so funny. Um, that sounds like such a free world. Within it is, being yeah. a dominatrix, though, you, um, as you mentioned, were queer when you started doing it. What very was that queer. like being queer and being a dom? Like, did it make it easier? Was it harder? You know, this is a very good question that I love to answer. Um, back then, I was I was a very man hater lesbian. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> I just didn't. <clears throat> I had no type of connection with men, obviously yeah. not romantically, um, like nothing. There was nothing there for me when it came with the man. Yeah. When I started dominating men, that shifted for me. I started to, to get to know a side of men mm -hmm. that most people don't get to see. It's a very vulnerable side to men. Um, and I, I just fell in love with that. I yeah. fell in love with the ability of a human being to completely trust me. And it's it beautiful. happened to be men. Yeah. And I never saw that. I never saw men in society are strong. Mm. They don't show their emotions. They're alpha. And I got to see the other side to that. And it yeah. was beautiful. And it, it caused me to love men, believe yeah. it or not. Yeah. 
Yeah. Not fall in love with men, but yeah. just like love them as human beings and yeah. what they are able to give to this world. I think yeah. it can heal a, a big part of you. Yeah. It really sure. did heal me. Yeah. Um, I love them like I love my dad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. You see a way into their brain that the world doesn't get to see. There's like this underbelly like of the city where you're like, oh, there's this whole other world where men don't have to like play pretend or like put yeah. on this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. And it again, it's not necessarily romantic or sexual, yeah. but it's like, oh, they're just creatures with feelings and uh-huh. vulnerabilities and emotions and mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, you're seeing. I wonder if he'll like, fix hum- me. Just, you need to <laughs> do that. A you human. I mean, I'm a pretty big man hater. Yeah. I think yeah. you. Next thing you know, it's not in a toxic way. Not in a toxic way, but like. Did you yeah. do it too? Um, not really, but. <laughs> yeah. but, being yeah. but being with her and watching these men like treat her like a literal goddess, it really shifted something for me in my view of men. Yeah. To be honest, because I was very man hater. Yeah. And okay, watching fine. and having all of a sudden men paying for all my all of our stuff together to, like going on all these nice dinners and like whatever and them just like basically like being little they just were like worshiping the ground she walked on just being I think I almost expected them to be like obviously there's dirty talk don't get me wrong but in like a very respectful way she's always the one on top she's always the one that's in charge she's like if she will put them in their place if they say something too far and they're like oh sorry guys. Yeah, you yeah. know like it's okay. very like they just I don't know there's almost a level of respect there that I did not expect and mm-hmm. that I really appreciate it. I actually grew to really like a lot of your subs. And yeah. Like, That's them. beautiful. Yeah. 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 I think it's so hot. I'm the considering. word subs. Yeah. Why do I find that so sexy? I call them yeah. losers. Yeah. Losers? I love calling them losers. Yeah. They like to be humiliated. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So specifically. That's, that's my, so every dominatrix is different in what they offer. Mm-hmm. Some are really good at bondage and that's what they do a lot. Some are really known for other acts like pegging, which I was mm-hmm. very known for as well. Mm-hmm. Um, but what I was mainly known for as well was verbal humiliation. That's yeah. like my yeah. tea. That's what <laughs> That's I hot. excel at. And it comes from a place of love, yeah. and it does not look like that for one second. Like for if sure. you see how I talk to these men totally. on the phone, it's nasty. Hilarious. And they love it. Like, so they're getting off they to love it. every with, second of it. With yeah. the pegging, you said that, so you did that as well? Uh-huh. Yeah. When you did that, you guys were together. Oh, yeah. Ashton and what it. was that like for you? Like, so you, would you, I guess, a couple of questions with that. Would you then go on dates with them and, like, peg them? Would you go home with them and peg them? It's, um, it was a date is yeah. a strong Too romantic. Yeah. Um, definitely not a date. Yeah. It was more of they are here to see me for that act. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And there is role play involved with most of these men. They have a certain fantasy that, that they want to see me portray. Mm-hmm. Or they just want to get pegged and that's it. Yeah. You know, there's no like date to it. But it's there's, like a yeah, controlled a environment. But, it's like yeah, a exactly. plan. It's yeah. not like a. But they do like take you out to dinner and things yeah. like that. Yeah, or but that's very. That's very it's rare. Like a yeah. Yeah. Meeting. I'm just yeah. saying it's not like a date dynamic. No, no, of course. It's like yeah. we know you're like, control. Yeah, what that, go. Like, yeah. I feel like Hannah would ask about the Peggy. Yeah, I think I kind of set some boundaries at the beginning with it just with women. I didn't want her to be dominating women in any way. And I didn't really feel comfortable with her working with other dominatrix. Dominatrices okay. in certain spaces. Spaces. Yeah. Like, mm. I wanted to just know them or, like, For you know, sure. have some concept of, like, who you're creating with and then, like, what are you creating kind of vibe because yeah. you make content with it as well. But that was mm. really my only thing. I didn't care about the men. I knew, like, she's really gay. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and, and, like, to her, there's no girls, I, then you're like, good. I've yeah. seen a man, but I'm sorry. It's just, like, not the same. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like, it's, she gets nothing out of it in, like, a sexual way. Yeah. The power, yeah, but, like, yeah. that's it. You For know, sure. it's, to me, it was just like a business transaction. Mm-hmm. If she's doing it to women, I would have an issue. Yeah, of yeah. course. So that yeah. brings That's me understandable. then to, to my next question. Would you guys say that you're completely monogamous? Are you monogamish? Are you open <laughs> to having a third? What is what is that? We're pretty monogamous, monogamous. for yeah. at yeah. least right now. Yeah. And yeah, we're kind of like maybe way. when we're married for a long time, yeah, maybe like we'll want to have like a threesome yeah. or something. Like we're not opposed to it, but at this current state, like no. Yeah, yeah. For sure. I have no I've desire. like been yeah. down that road before, and yeah. I just like it's not for me right now. Who knows yeah. at some point? But I'm right now. I'm beautiful. Very yeah. possessive. Yeah, very. <laughs> <possessive. laughs> we actually one time had an issue when I was in Washington yeah. D.C. I I was there touring. That's what doms call it. Is when you travel from one state to another. It's just doing sessions back to back to back. Mm -hmm. And I was in D.C. and last minute, my sub, when I'm already like on my way to the hotel, tells me, by the way, I have my other mistress here. Uh Like, do you mind? And I was like. lingerie. Like, and I didn't even think about it. I'm like, sure, obviously, because I'm already on my way. He already paid me. I'm going to do the job. 
Um, and I said, yeah. So, and she wasn't even really involved in it, but she was there. And he wanted me to meet her first and mingle at the bar. So I did. And I texted her. I'm like, oh, like, oh my God. Like, I'm, uh, I just met this, <laughs> not thinking that it was a problem for one second. I'm thinking, of course, she's like a hot woman. She's a <laughs> dominatrix. Like, what the the <laughs> check this out. She's also going to school to be a pilot. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> you just take the one thing that I have. Like, what oh the hell? No. No, that's Ash, not I would have flown there yeah, and had a drink there. right fucking <laughs> there with you. I was like, the more she's telling me about her flight school, I'm like, oh, really? Oh, really? Yeah. Guess oh. what? I have class right now. <laughs> going to the like, same relate spot. to her on all these things. <laughs> and also, no, she's yeah. a pilot. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. Talking so about pilot engines and shit. That, you were like, yeah. I don't even really. <laughs> did I act like I was bothered? No, she didn't act like she was bothered. She was like, I'm playing it all. Yeah. I think he told me. When to tell me? You wait until the time is right. A week later. A week later. Yeah. I was like, oh, I had no idea. I was like, um, I think that's yeah. beautiful though. There's like a balance. You're like, okay, you can have your yeah. clients, but no women. Like no that women. makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and that's like she can work with other doms. I feel like if I know who they are, if it's arranged before, I just need to like know some of concept course. of what's For going sure. on. Yeah. Just to like randomly tell me, tell me that you're at the bar getting drinks with this other dom, and you're about to go dominate a man together. I just like don't. Yeah. Like, I don't like that. <laughs> like I don't love I it. It's this other right like now. pilot girl. No. <laughs> You're like, fuck her. She's also a pilot? That's crazy. Only 12%. It's like that one chance. Why would she be a pilot too? She was lying. That would be sticky. I don't know how the fuck that would work. So we'll get out of the BDSM. I just, I find it so interesting. I know a lot of people will find it interesting. Last thing with it, because you were a dom for so long, now you're retired. What does it look like for you guys in the bedroom? Are you dominated in the bedroom? Are you a sub in the bedroom? What's yeah. Yeah, that's a good question. So basically, the reason why it was so easy for me to even become a pro dom was because I'm just so naturally and inherently dominant. So in the bedroom, I'm the same person I was yeah. before I was a dominatrix, during being a dominatrix, and even after. So there's not much shift Yeah, you think there is. Maybe I did use more like ropes and like gags with you and stuff like that because because <laughs> I had the tools, <laughs> sure. you know? Now yeah. I don't have them yeah. around anymore. Right. But so. it didn't like switch the dynamic. Because like I'm no. sure like a lot of the men that get dominated, right, they're in the, in the world, they're very powerful like alphas. Mm -hmm. So then they want to experience in the bedroom something different. Mm -hmm. So I'm wondering mm -hmm. like did that shift, like yeah. now you're the dom and you're the alpha. So you're like, oh, now I want to be the sub. No, I'm no. not. He's really. saying no way. Really not. Yeah. You're like, I'm, a I'm, I'm still top. the dom. Yeah. Yeah. I'm still the dom. Yeah. Yeah. I do. I would like to explore. Like, I, I don't have resistance against playing the other role. It's just what comes more natural to me is being a dom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's just innate. That's beautiful. Yeah. 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 I like that. Um, That's cool. But I could try and be the other part. It's not a problem. Like, yeah. I'm not, like, too alpha to do <laughs> but it. It didn't change anything. You're like, no, nah, <laughs> this is me. Yeah. This yeah. is me for Yeah. Well, yeah, because sometimes you hear that when people are more dom or you know top versus bottom they get into the bedroom and they like to be yeah, like really really soft mm -hmm. or complete opposite than what they perceive themselves to be outside of the bedroom right yeah like masks like but Blake, in bedrooms, Blake they're loves like to be pegged mm -hmm. fuck off yeah <laughs> no I do not <laughs> yes you do I was a top my whole <laughs> life <laughs> she <laughs> turned me into a switch please yeah. please yeah. Swear to God. you, you, well, you do have these yeah. times where you get like you're like in your alpha and in your mask gun for so long that like it can switch yeah. that's okay that's beautiful yeah no that's fine <laughs> I was it's top, to be top for a very sometimes. long time Hannah and I switched uh huh yeah, I think we need to stop <laughs> acting as if being a bottom is a bad thing. Right. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. I find it yeah. hard. Like, yeah. I, I like it's it. Right. I like I being rejected, taken care of. I rejected that side of myself for a long time because really? of the stigma around it. Of course. It's we yeah. had a, 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 yeah. a I got very emotional yeah. about it, actually. Yeah, yeah. we wow. had a, a definitely... I don't think you've ever been with someone at, like dominant like I am mm -hmm. in the bedroom. And it was... I guess it was, what, hard for you? It to... was something that brought out this other side of me and mm -hmm. something that I think is more more I don't know like inherent to me but I felt like I had to play this role for so long mm -hmm. oh that's I so totally, I totally, totally see that. Get it. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, that's such a spiritual concept yeah. as yeah. well right like receiving actually takes so much strength <laughs> yeah and and giving actually is a little bit submissive too there's mm -hmm. like the thing switches it's like a pen pendulum yeah there's the like word? a weird pendulum? level of like guilt almost that I feel of course well, a lot yeah. of like guilt and almost shame like it makes me almost want to cry every time I think about it yeah, so it's so weird okay. but like I, yeah, I think we need to stop stigmatizing bottoms because yeah. obviously all these tops need somebody to bottom. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like There's... everyone's all like, I'm a top. No, I'm a top. Yeah. I'm a top. I'm like, who are you guys topping? Like, yeah. Yeah. like yeah. Really, everybody's a top. A top. Yeah. It's so interesting and, yeah. because there's so many things to it, which I know that you and I, we've, we've all discussed it, right? <laughs> but how many quote unquote tops then go into the bedroom and they don't want a top or they want yeah. to be a quote yeah. unquote bottom? Yep. Um, yeah. 
regardless of all the terms, like all joking aside, it doesn't matter what you are, what you like, how you want it, how you give it. It's all love. You're literally it's just, both anyway, yeah. bitch. So yeah, chill out. It's, yeah. But it is, it's a, it's a big stigma that yeah. is portrayed on the queer community. Mm-hmm. Um, and not to put the masks out there, but hey, nine times out of ten, you guys love to be a little yeah, so, princess. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's my experience. Yeah. 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 But receiving 100%. is like a lot. Yeah, it so is. Receiving it's is way so fucking brave. different. Yeah. 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 It is. It, it is. takes a lot. I mean, you're it, it's uh, really on the spiritual side of it. You're, <laughs> yeah. you're allowing a person to. I know yeah. for a while when I was single, I did not want someone to be well, ro- same. inside me at all. Giving yourself is is already so like rough for me. And it's like, if I give myself to you, then that's like my whole energy, my being Mm -hmm. is yours right now. Totally. That's why, yeah. I think that's where probably the stigma gets confusing is because it's so sacred. Yes. That, you know, like it's easy to walk around and just not, it's not easy by any means. It's still meaningful, but it's, it's much easier for Mm -hmm. me personally to like go around and top. But if I'm letting someone like enter me or touch me, that's so much more sacred and so much more emotional. Mm -hmm. Which I think like for me is why I'm very guarded about sex like yeah. I'm yep. not I'm not someone that sleeps around like you were pretty much the first person that I slept with I think I maybe had like one now that I remember I had one person that I was like trying to have like a hookup with after yeah. my breakup and I was like abs it's just not for me I really don't like it and then I just was like nope until I felt really comfortable with you like I just yeah to me it's like a very there's a lot of levels and layers there I think from like growing up religious from yeah different past experiences like it just becomes a thing that is very very sacred and special to me and so like I I'm not going to let myself be that vulnerable with just anybody yeah I think that's uh probably also very much how you said tied to your upbringing the religion yeah so let's jump in